This is Jenny. Yeah, but what's my name for people that aren't my daughter? Oh, Neil. Yeah, Neil. I'm Neil. All right. Dun, 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 dun. The Raspberry Pi. No. The brain. The brain. This is the Raspberry Pi. No, it's uh, the brain. Okay, the brain. Listen, so Jenny, why don't you show them how to put the case together? There's little tabs so here, right? Yeah. And so it's got to go under these little tabs, and it slides under the tabs. Right. Okay. Now, what? What next, kiddo? Together. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Right. So there's only one way that can go on, and then you just cram it together, right? Yep. All right, so she's put it together. That's the nice case. So you never really have to take it out of the case again, but you can if you want. And then there's this micro SD card. Now, what's the trick with that? Oh. If you put it in the wrong place, it does. It gets stuck, right? It slides in, and then it, we all die. And then, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and put that in. It'll only go in one way, and you need to make sure it's all the way up and going into the slot. Yeah, and it kind of clicks when you push it in, right? Like everything else in the world. Everything in the world clicks. <laughs> yep. Okay, so here it is. It's put together. Uh, make sure you put these on first. And there will be little sticky pieces that you can, double-sided sticky tape that's conductive, heat conductive, um, that you can fasten those with. Put All right. them on first, like, before you even get it. Right. Before, before you even, you get even the open the box. Before you open the cardboard <laughs> box. Now... This thing is a ribbon cable, and you'll see it's got uh, one side of it is red. And it this is the first pin, pin one, on this red thing. So we're going to put this in, and it goes down on this. And this is a little bit tricky, I know how uh, to but do Jenny it. knows how to do it, so she's going to. She loves putting things together. Here she goes, folks. So wait, so it has holes? Holes. Right. And it has spikes. Right. And so you put the whole, I mean the spikes in the holes, not the holes in the spikes. Okay, it's there you magical. go. So show them what it looks like when you put it in. And hold it real still, because the camera will It won't. looks magical. Doesn't it just? Yep. Magical. Okay. So there's that. And then you're also going to get this thing. So this also you'll see has that connector on it. This one has a notch on the top, so the connector will only go in one way. Just why it's important to put that in. And then what on the other end, it's got all these pins. And we'll show you what those are for in a second. So go ahead and put put this. Yep. So fasten those together. Yep. So what? Oh. Ow. Yep. All right. And you should only really, you only really have to do this once. And then. Ta -da. Ta -da. Uh, and then you'll have this, which is a tiny little breadboard. So the breadboard is kind of interesting, and we should talk about how this works before we connect it. Um, so there's there's a minus and a plus here, and a minus and a plus there. The red is the plus, and blue is minus, if you can see red and blue. And um, all of these, this whole, all these, this side on the blue is connected, and all these reds are connected to each other. All these blues are connected to each other, and all these reds are connected to each other. And then each row on the inside, is connected to, and the rows are numbered. Uh, you probably can't see the numbers on this camera. Oops, I have it upside down. <laughs> um, but this is row one. So all of five of these pit holes on row one are connected. Are they connected to the other side? Uh... There's like a gap in the middle. They're not connected to the other side. So all five of these are connected, and then all five on the other side are connected, but they're not connected to each other across the little gap. And what that lets you do is you can take this thing, yeah, and smack it down in there. Now remember, the middle spikes are the ones that you need to worry about placing. Yeah. So this isn't something that you're really going to have to take in and out a whole lot. You kind of just leave it like this. Ta-da. Ta-da. And then we'll show real closely. Uh, it might not be super easy to see, but what Jenny was saying is that this pin needs to go in row one, 
you can see row one. So this top one here on the other side goes in that. This actually goes in the second row of the power rails. And now what happens is you have a three volt and a five volt power side. So we're gonna mostly be using the three volt power side, but you may get some chips later on that want five volts. You can put them over here, pretty handy. So now you have power built in to your, this is a really nice setup. When I did my, when I made that scoreboard, I had to supply my own power and it was wires everywhere. Okay, oh, and there's one other thing. What's this, Jenny? It's a piece of metal and plastic. Right, but what does it do? Um. It's the wireless. This will get you on your wireless router. Wi-Fi. It's having trouble focusing that close, but okay. So, and then this goes in any USB slot that you want to put it in. Anything you want. Good. Crammed. So, we now have the chip in here, or the, uh, the memory card, which has the operating system, uh, a thing called Noobs, which is a really nice operating system for the Raspberry Pi. We have the wireless. We have our GPIO pins to build our little electronics projects. The one last thing we need is power. This is a power supply that comes with a kit. You don't have to use it. Uh, you could plug it into anything with USB. Um, this is a nice one because it gives a full two amps. Um, and there's only one place that it will connect. Go ahead and put that in. It connects in the magical place. Yep. The magical place. Make sure that it's on the camera. So it goes in right here next to the... There are a couple other things in the kit that we're not going to use right away. Um, there is an HDMI cable. So if you're doing this and you don't have and you want to um, plug it into your television set, you can use this. And then this just goes in here. And you could do this right now if you wanted. You could plug a, a keyboard and a mouse into here stick this in there and the other end into your television and now you have a, t a computer hooked up to your TV. Uh, there's some other stuff. There's these little uh, jumper cables. These are really, they're just wires. So this is a button. A button? Yeah. Uh, and you'll see it has these four connectors that just conveniently happen to be the right distance to go across and see now you know why these don't connect across because what happens is you stick this into your board and then you put a cable there and then another one there and then when that's connected to that it means the button's pressed okay 